Welcome to my class, dear students. Hope you are enjoying and utilizing our prior classes online on different topics. Today I am here to conduct another class for you on topic article on your English second paper. And I have already conducted three more classes earlier on the rules of the topic, on the rules of articles. Today I am here for some exercises from your textbook. In my class, today I will show I will prove to you that if you learn the rules earlier, uh, given in the earlier uh, classes, the rules of article, you will be able to solve uh, the question and article very easily. Uh, the article, this topic carries five marks for you. The first question and, and the question paper, and there will be uh, ten gaps for you to fill up with articles, with zero uh, article or cross, or with the or the, or with A or N. So if you uh, know the way to learn the rules, uh, and you'll be able to uh, put the correct article, use the correct article to fill up the gaps here. So now, dear students, uh, let us start our class. I am Lee Balmushin, lecturer of English, Mother of Canton Public School and College. I hope you will enjoy and uh, utilize uh, today's class on the so now let, let's read uh, question number or question number one for you and uh, I'll explain here uh, why and how a particular article uh, should be used or we need to use. Uh, question number one I'm reading out here. Mr. Bright is a or an European. We know that there are five vowels in uh, English alphabet. And uh, if there is uh, the, the, the first letter of any word is a vowel, is any one of the five vowels, we need to use article A and N instead of A. But when three of the article uh, vowels, they are uh, E, O, and U, where these three vowels are pronounced like U, WA, and U, respectively. We cannot use and despite their being vowels. We need to use a before them. Remember, when e is pronounced like u, I cannot use or you cannot use and there. Though the first letter of the word is a vowel, it's a vowel because it's pronounced like u. This is the rule of grammar. In the same way, if o is pronounced like wa, you cannot use and, you need to use a. Again, if U is pronounced like U, you need to use A instead of N. As remember this. So, according, according to that rules, we need to use A here, not N. Here. Um, I'm, I'm showing you both are here, yeah, it will be. So, I am giving you both A and N and crossing N. Then, we cannot use it. As he is an Englishman, so English is used here as an adjective and, and if there is any noun after adjective, we need to use A or N according to the rule. Uh, since E is pronounced here as E, not as U, we know that we can use here N, not A. He knows English well. Here, you see, it's written. when, uh, when uh, we, uh, by any word, we refer to any, we refer to any language that we can use any article there. Uh, by the word English, if I mean, if I need, if I refer to the language, I cannot use uh, any article here and it will put it close. Yes, remember the truth speak. In the same way, is honorable to anyone. Honorable, the word is an adjective. If after adjective there is no noun, we need, uh, we can use any article here. So, uh, if, the, if there is no noun, like man, honorable man, etc. So, according to the rule, I can use an article and it use here or put a cross here. Uh, to everyone, he is honorable to everyone, though he is one as man. Students again, uh, O is pronounced here like wa, not O. 
So according to the rules, I, I, I told you earlier that I can use here and I need to use here A, a one of man, though the first letter of the word is a vowel O, but because of the pronunciation, uh, so this, this is pronounced O, I need to use A here, not M. Remember, one day having an SOS, when the, you see SOS, when I write any word in a debated form, SOS me say our soul is the debated into SOS and the first letter, the first letter S or the first letter is pronounced with a vowel like A plus S, S then I need to use here and not A. I cannot use here, A, I need to use here and every in SOS uh, he went to USA. Again, when I write the name of any country in a degree form, then I need to again use a definite article D or that. Remember, like that UK, UA, D, UK, D, UA. And some name of uh, some countries also take like, like the Netherlands, uh, the Bahamas, the, the West Indies, the, the Punjab, the Hague, etc. His brother Johnson living there joined the army. When by the by a word like army, police, BGV, red, when I refer to the whole uh, uh, whole force by these words, then I must use definite article Z of yeah, Z. Remember that. But if I say he is an army personnel, not the I need to use and he is an army personnel. But when I, by the word I refer to, I mean I indicate the whole force, the whole army, uh, the force I need to use, definitely the same you need to use in, in, uh, the, uh, or the for Navy, Air Force, uh, Police, etc. etc. So last thing, he is the younger of the two here. In combined degree, we never use definite article. But when uh, the use is like this of the two brothers. For example, Sumi is, is the uh, uh, more beautiful of the two sisters. Uh, Hassan is taller of the two brothers. In that. If, I, if the use is like that, I must use uh, that here, despite it is a common uh, degree. Remember that. When Mr. Bright met his brother, he felt very happy. You see, after determiner, very, we cannot use any article as I have already told you in my in, in, in rules of uh, articles in my other uh, classes. So we should put here a cross. Again, uh, now let's see a passage number two, please. Uh, Patriotism is a noble word. So noble, the word is an adjective. If after adjective there is a noun, we need to use a or n. Since it is, there is no noun, we need to use a noble word. Too. It inspires a man. We need to use either the man or the man, but we cannot use here the because it is not definite. So we need to use determine a or article as determine. It's for a man to dedicate his life for the freedom of his country. Uh, according to the rules of articles, we know that we cannot use any article after possessive. The possessives, as I uh, told you in the, in the rules of articles, possessives are uh, uh, my, our, your, his, her, their, is, etc. So, after possessive, we need to use cross. We cannot use any article. Now, here, the, a man without patriotism, not the man. If I say the man, I will uh, uh, refer to or I refer to particular any definite fixed person, but here not. It is in general I am talking about. So I need to use a, a man without patriotism is not better than a beast. Here you see, in that case, if I refer to by the word beast to a particular beast, any any uh, lower animal, uh, animal of lower kind like dog or a child, I can say a. But when I refer to the whole 
uh, as a spaces, I can use D to the beast that uh, or queries. You can use either A or the both here. A true vector honor is honored by his command. Again, after positive case, we can reduce an article here, so I go to the first case. He thinks for the betterment of his country. Let's do this. Betterment is a, 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 a noun, but it's abstract noun. So before abstract noun, we don't use an article. But when we uh, use it definitely, particularly, for better men of what? Better men of his country. He said, the use is definite. So I will see here, article there. Of his country? Of his country, yes. Yeah. On the other hand, in some phrases, we use article D or the or A. Here, yeah, I know that in this article, we use A. The country on, on, on the contrary, and I'm better with man. You see, a adjective, if there is a noun, I must use A or N. Since it is a vowel, and pronounce as you are, I need to use N. And I'm better with man. Things only for himself. People who die for the country. Die for the country, here, I must use a determinant. Either die for his country, for their country. But since it is a question of article, I can use here, there, or his country. I must use D, where there is positive case. When you understand that, you need to use the positive case. Uh, your brain indicates, the brain shows that you need to use an article about the article here, the positive case, sorry. But since it is a question of positive, uh, article, you can use positive case. In that case, you can use D or that. So dear students, I am almost at the end of my class. Uh, for further understanding, uh, for the further uh, understanding, I'd like to say something more on the topic. Please uh, practice those questions from uh, the board question of 2017, 2018, and 2019. All the questions, I think you understand better. So students, I think uh, you understood the topic well. And I proved and I've shown you that if we know the rules, if we learn the rules, you can uh, answer any question on article very easily. So thank you very much for watching this class. I hope to be for you with uh, another class on the same topic the next time. Thank you. Good